Today, we're gonna take a look at this Amiga 2000 motherboard. But before we do that, I just wanna tell you this little story. <laughs> I've had my YouTube channel for just over a year now. I have been able to activate ads, monetization and all that. Didn't do it because ads irritate me when I watch videos on YouTube. But I bought a new computer, turned it on for the first time, <laughs> didn't log in on Gmail, YouTube, no nothing, just went online, went on YouTube with a brand new computer and I searched for Amiga 500 and I have got at the moment I have got over 300 videos 350 maybe Amiga videos Commodore Amiga and all that and none of them popped up none of them I just nothing came up and I searched Amiga 1200 I have got so many Amiga 1200 videos and 4 year old videos popped up but not mine I was just in shock so I, just, I made a little research and I found out about I don't know if it's true no nothing like that but you know YouTube algorithms they um, they prefer videos that has got monetization in them they recommend them because then YouTube makes money through ads and all that I'm not sure some says it's like that other says it's not so as soon as I found out about it I was like what is this really true because I mean I'm making videos of course I want to share my experience with you guys but I also want my videos to be watched so because of that I have activated monetization so from now on I'm so sorry guys but from from now on my videos will have ads and I'm so sorry for that but it is what it is and I hope my videos will reach out for more viewers <laughs> in the future and if I ever get some money through YouTube ads then I will donate them and I know where I am going to donate everything is just ready I'm not interested in the money I'm interested in reaching out to as many people in the retro passion love business as possible thank you for, for listening to that story guys so let's just plug this Amiga 2000 board on and see how it reacts the board is connected now if you make a fast inspection here down here we have got some battery juice it has been cleaned but every time something like this happens you have to look at the traces between the CPU and the kickstart ROM it will destroy them that's the first thing it will destroy the socket on the 68000 CPU and, and this is this is from another Amiga 2000 this one looked clean but it was a bad one <laughs> and under the socket um, when you pull that one off you have got a lot of traces down here also goes to the bottom side and all that of course they had some issues the traces were dead from batteries so always on the Amiga 2000 when you have Vata <laughs> party down here then uh, I will always recommend replacing the socket for the 68000 CPU also if these has green legs replace the uh, holder for the kickstart ROM I haven't done anything to this board nothing my friend owns this board he has checked all the ICs, all of the chips, all of the ones you can pull off. Not the RAM chips, but you know, 
Agnes, Kickstarter, Grom, Denise, Paula. Um, <clears throat> and this, this should work fine. But the Amiga should have some issues. So I'm going to give it some power now. And um, I want to see what it does. <laughs> so let's just turn this one on. We have power. We have this holder. Yeah, okay. Let's give this one some power and see what's going to happen. <laughs> Not the best picture. Okay. Now you should eat. No, don't do something like this, but Oh. Okay, look at the screen. Oh! When I press the Agnes the fat Agnes down. Oh, that means that's let's try this guys. Get some pressure down here and gray, white, and the kickstart hand, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, nothing. Okay. Good. So, again, it could be issues with the, now the chip here, the Fat Agnes, should work fine. Then the holder down there could be uh, something that has to be replaced, I don't know. Down here, we could have problems with the socket, I don't know. But, let's try something really, really easy. Let's try to boot up with the diagram because the diagram jumps over some of the starting sequence stuff. This diagram is made by John Herten and he is just a great asset to have on the Amiga community. He makes these re Amiga boards and that's just... Oh! Okay. Somebody has been working on this board. <laughs> this socket for the um, Kickstart ROM is not original from Commodore, so it has got some repair job. When, from who, I don't know. Oh. Are the legs bent? I actually hate these round ones. They have better connection, I know, but yeah. Not easy to insert and all that. All right, so we have the diagram instead of the kick ROM, and it's turned the right way. So let's just give this one some power and see what it's gonna do. Now, diagram, it usually takes about 20 seconds to boot up. And. It should have some green stripes and all that right now, but nothing let's try something else let's try with the fatty press down let's just there we go okay. don't don't touch not don't do something like this <laughs> there are some different tricks when you repair oh oh it gives the white screen but green screen I think we have something <laughs> some some trouble with the uh, what's it called with this socket holder here yeah well this Amiga 2000 needs some attention it needs some love it needs somebody that has got a lot of Amiga passion now I could repair it I have great friends here in Denmark that could, that could repair it. We could make repair videos, but one of the greatest retro YouTubers out there that I really, really enjoy watching. This guy inspired me to buy Commodore 64s. It's my neighbor from Germany, Jan Beta. He's just, I love 
watching his repair videos. And recently, he has got himself an Amiga 2000 and he has upgraded it with RAM and hard drive and all that. I really enjoyed that, uh, those videos. He gave his Amiga 2000 so much love. So let's pack this one, send it to Germany. Let's Jan Beta look at it and maybe film his progress and see uh, what the problem is. My guess is replacing this um, holder here and maybe this one, but I don't know, it could be, yeah, piggybacking the RAM. It could be so many different things, but holding this one down gives, um, gives some different pictures. <laughs> so, dear Jan, dear Jan Beta, I will ship this one to you. And I hope you will give me a hand by repairing this one. If we are lucky, my friend will be so happy. And I will be so happy because another Amiga will, will be saved. So yeah, this one will be packed and it will be sent to you. Have a great day, Jan. And to all my subscribers, to all my viewers, I also wish you guys a great day. And wouldn't it just be amazing to have a video by Yen repairing this board? If you agree with me, send me an hell yeah message. Have a great day, guys. Bye.